May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all in these final seconds. God bless you, beloved brothers and sisters. God bless your families. God bless my family. Hallelujah. God bless my neighbors that's starting to watch. God bless all y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. We're living in the final seconds, beloved. So we got to be prayed up. You hear what I say? Don't matter what nobody say. You just keep serving the Lord in these final seconds. You hear what I say? Don't matter. It don't matter. It's all about to, it's all about to come to end. It's about to come to an abrupt end. We're going to stay with the Lord no matter what. Beloved, you already know how I go up over here. We got to invite God to our presence over here. Hallelujah. We got to invite the beautiful presence of God up over here. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all ready? It ain't nothing but glory. It ain't nothing but glory. He already. Hallelujah. It ain't nothing but glory to get up. I shed it out of my soul. It ain't nothing but a cloud of glory already. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, dear, beautiful Heavenly Father. We come to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. We pray for the whole church of God, Lord. We block and neutralize all demonic activity, communication, and movement, Lord. Hallelujah. It ain't nothing but glory. He already, Lord, break the chains. I ask that you please give me the right words to be able to speak, to be able to articulate. In the galley, silvery fish. Hallelujah. Praise God, God. Watch this, amen. Just God say, I pray for everybody that's going to hear this message. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to break all witchcraft and sorcery, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God, God. Watch this, amen. Just God say, Hallelujah. Break all generational curses, Lord. Please deliver us, Lord, from the evil one, the sword, the fire, and darkness, and the devil, Lord. We pray to break all witchcraft and sorcery. I command every soul to take in this psalm all principles in the name in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. I pray for our wife and child. Pray for our beloved. Break the chains, Lord. Destroy the scheme of the devil. Praise God, God, God. Watch the same righteous God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God, God, God. Be a shame for the poor and the, in the heat all the day. Hallelujah. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. In the shelter for, from the coldness at night, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. We pray for the elderly, Lord. We pray for those on drugs. We ask that many get healed and saved. Free. In the name of Jesus Christ, destroy the fire and drops of the devil. Praise God, God, God. Watch this, amen. They get up and shed it about so. Hallelujah. I feel heaven on us. Hallelujah. Praise God, God, God. Watch this, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Watch this, Lord. Hallelujah. We are nothing without you, Lord. We're living in the end of time, Lord. Destroy every plot that they get it about shed it about so. Praise God, God, God. Watch this, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, please keep us. Oh, I feel the spirit of the Lord. Lord, Lord, yes, Lord, pour it out. Break the chains. I pray for all my neighbors. In the name of Jesus. Praise God, God, God. Hallelujah. They get it in about shit and about suit of my backy. Here come total obliteration. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord, please give us. Watch this. We pray for the babies, Lord. Protect the children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. I feel the fire of the Lord. Yes, Lord, pour it out. Praise God, God, God. Yes, Lord. We're going to be tried and tested. Hallelujah. Praise God, God, God. We're fine in the fire. Let's go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Test the purity of our heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Watch this. Hallelujah. They get it in about shit, in about soul, in about that kid, in about soul. Let the cripples get up and dance to the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Watch this. Hallelujah. They get about shit, in about soul. We are for knowledge. We are for wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We attack the spirit of murder, Lord. Destroy the spirit of pride, Lord, and arrogance. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Please give us. Hallelujah. We rebuke the spirit of vanity, Lord, and seduce the spirit. And all clean spirits in the name of Jesus. Let it be left off of people. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the fiery darts of the devil. I take authority of earth and space. Praise God. Praise God. Watch the same answer, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Please give us. I pray for all your service, Lord. Hallelujah. They get it in about shit and about suit and about that key and about suit and about that key. Hallelujah. Praise God, Lord. Yes, sir. I pray for all your service, Lord. Give us the strength we need. Hallelujah. We have for knowledge, wisdom, serving, discretion, diligence, zealousness, Lord. Hallelujah. Zeal for your house is eating me up. Hallelujah. Praise God, Lord. Yes, sir. Praise God. Watch the same praise, Jesus Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Please keep us. Watch the same praise, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We pray for all your people, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. This sway tree that swell over many trees. Hallelujah. 
answer. Hallelujah. They get in my shit in my soul. I pray for all your people, Lord. I pray for the elderly, Lord. Hallelujah. We rebuke the spirit of perversion, the first and the aggression, the spirit the devil's fled, Holy Ghost fire on the devil. We command a mega destruction in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Watch this. Hallelujah. We are not the way I Lord. I pray for your people, Lord, throughout the world, Lord, and break the chains, Lord. Hallelujah. They get it in about shit and about soul. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Please keep us. Watch this, Lord. Hallelujah. Destroy the spirit of witchcraft. Destroy the spirit of sorcery. Hallelujah. They get it in about shit and about soul. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lift up that spirit of happiness off from Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give a beautiful ass. So we clash with the devil every day. In the name of Jesus, it's destroyed. Go crush the sand, freeze, leaves, and Stacey Adams and everything. Hallelujah. Praise God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Please take care of our shit about us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We ask that you cover us in the harm of God, Lord. Your light garment, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Cover us in the harm of God and the sphere of God. Hallelujah. The swimmer of the flame and soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Break all generational curses started with Adam and Eve in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Watch the same message. Because please deliver us all. And we pray to all we ask. And we say all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You already know how I go up over here. Hallelujah. We about to go through the we about to go through the fire. You hear what I said? We about to go through the fire. Hallelujah. What did it say? Before I go there. Hallelujah. We don't want nothing blowing away. It ain't nothing but glory here. It ain't nothing but glory here. I got flowers for you, pop collars every, every day. You hear what I said? Where the rain's in the sky. Oh my. You hear what I said? I'm feeling supercharged, refreshed, revitalized. You hear me? Invigorated. <laughs> you hear what I said? Not ice cold, refrigerated, but invigorated. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. They get up and shut it up also. Hallelujah. What it say? First Peter 4. First Peter 4 verse 12. Suffering for God's glory. Suffering for God's glory. We suffering for God. They get up and shut it up. I swear I rebuke Satan. Destroy the devil's plan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to be prayed up and powered up. We in the end, beloved. Hallelujah. Don't stop now. You got to keep going. Got to keep on trucking through. You got to, got to keep going. We're trudging the mountain. God made his people Israel trudge the mountain for 40, for 40 years and went in a circle around the mountain. Hallelujah. We're going to stick with the Lord. We're going to follow the cloud by day and the fire by night. Hallelujah. Be a shame for a sword in the, in the heat of the day. Hallelujah. In the shelter for us to be in a shelter in place for the cold of the night. Hallelujah. We're going to be prayed up and powered all the way up. You love it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless everybody that's going to hear this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. What did it say? I ain't no lukewarm. I'm here to warn you. From Macamino, California. Here he come to make a destruction. This is it. This the money ain't they about to change for everybody's lives. You hear what I said? All of our lives is about to change. When it rains in the sky. Oh my. You hear what I said? Everything about to change. But we about to go through a test. You hear what I said? We about to go through the test. You ready? We they get out of our shit. It ain't nothing but glory. They get out of shit and our soul. Hallelujah. What it say? First Peter 4. Verse 12. Suffering for God's glory. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings. Hallelujah, we're carrying our cross. You hear what I said to the finish line? They get up, do you feel the spirit of the Lord? Yes, I thought the spirit of the Lord. It ain't nothing but glory and glory. He saw us to meet the illuminato. It ain't nothing but glory here, hallelujah. And they get it about shit and about suit and about shit and they eat eat cook down though, hallelujah. And they get about shit and they let about suit and about that key, hallelujah. Mucho gusto. It's my pleasure, beloved, hallelujah. I'm feeling supercharged, got flowers for the church, hallelujah. Time is up. You hear what I said? It's nothing but destruction coming. So we got to be all the way prayed up with the Lord right now, beloved, hallelujah. It ain't nothing but glory. You hear what I said? 
what it say? The five of tribe wishes to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings. That when his glory is revealed, God, I love you. You may also be glad with exceeding joy if you are reproached. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you. Ain't that what it say? Do something new. What it say? Hallelujah. If you reproach for loving Jesus in these final seconds, love it go. Jesus always tell us to pray to God in Jesus' name. We, Jesus even prayed to God the Father. In Jesus' name, even in your five trials, the five trial in the church of Jesus Christ. This that refinement moment. You hear what I said? That defining refinement moment. You hear what I said? Say it's time to go. It's time to go all the way out. Don't stop there. You hear what I said? Lucha. You you got to fight. No de dias. You hear what I said? Never give up. You hear what I say? Hallelujah. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. For the spirit of glory and spirit through glory ye so. <laughs> you hear what I say? Hallelujah. What it say? For the spirit of glory of God and of God rest upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed. But on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Got to repent. A thief, got to repent. An evildoer or a busybody in other people's matters. You got to repent, beloved. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It don't matter if, if your significant other ain't trying to go. You just work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because it's say, What it say? Yeah, it be sounding like we all over the place. You be a mosa. Yeah, chaos. <laughs> Beautiful chaos here, pandemonium, because that's what's coming. You hear what I said? What it say? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. What it say? Joe, Joe, Joe 22. Joe 22, verse 28. They get about shit about 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 shit about soap. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I appreciate you. I'm thankful. Lord, breath the change. Lord, hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord right now, real heavy. Hallelujah. Even a little bit of touch of heaven. Feeling the spirit of the Lord real heavy. In the name of Jesus, feeling refreshed, renewed, re invigorated. You hear what I said? Not refrigerated. Popping collars and everything. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. It gets supercharged. I ain't spread. Let me die, though. No. You hear what I said? It gets supercharged. What it say? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the healing power coming on my forehead and everything dripping. You hear what I said? It's dripping. It's a little bit indifferent, but we dripping. Dripping with the spirit of the Lord right now. You hear what I said? We're dripping hard. You hear what I said? With the spirit of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. All that. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. What I say? In Job 22, verse 28. You, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine in your ways when they cast you down. And you say, exaltation will come. Exaltation will come. Your deliverance is upon you. You hear what I said? Your great deliverance. But you got to be going through something in order to be delivered from it. You hear what I said? Then he will save the humble person. He will even deliver one who is not innocent, yes, he will be delivered by the purity of your hands. So if you just serve the law, and it don't matter, if they not living righteous before the Lord like that, God, God can save somebody through the purity of your, of your hands, of your commitment to the law, uh, to your great commitment to the Lord. Be committed to the Lord. You can save many bodies by this action, beloved. That's an act of faith. One act of faith can grow to a, a canopy, a, a, a tree, a, a tree of holiness, beloved. One act of faith. Do one act of great faith, even if it's feeding the poor. Do it in faith, though. Do it in faith, willingly, cheerfully. If it's giving somebody a pair of socks, you don't understand. Uh, well, somebody who ain't put on a clean pair of socks or or an undershirt, a t-shirt, 
that go a long way, beloved. It go a long way to uh, that that feeling, that that feeling that uh, refreshment. You you know, people need that right now. You know, a couple people need that. You know, it's serious out there. You know, you see what's going on in, in all the cities. You know, you, they breaking down uh, encampments all around my city, and people are just going everywhere else. They they ain't nowhere for them to go. So it's just sad. You hear what I said? People like. They think we just finna get raptured up out of here. A lot of people think we just finna get robbed. Like we ain't, we the we the bride of Christ. We ain't, we not appointed to wrath. They always they always quote that. And what's that? First Thessalonians. Let's turn to it real quick. In First Thessalonians five. Verse 9, for God did not appoint us to wrath, but, but, they never, what did it say? 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 9, for God did not appoint us to wrath, comma, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. We're not just getting raptured up out of here. The rapture is called the great rescue. God is not rapturing the whore of Babylon. He coming for a holy, spotless bride without spot or wrinkle. Without holiness, nobody's going to see a holy God. How, how are you supposed to be spiritually mar married to the God of heaven and you're not living in holiness? A lot of people, I seen 90%. I told you when I first seen the rapture of 2015, none of us would win. And I was just turning to the Lord fully around, around that time. You know, it took, it took, it took over a year to, to fully get the images of pouring out my head and all this stuff. They were still in my head. All You looking at all them images all, all pouring. That's why you got to repeat. That stuff gets stuck in your soul. It gets stuck in your soul. People could do whatever they want. They can do whatever they can do whatever they want. They can they they can, they can fornicate outside of marriage in sin and sexual immorality. They can uh, enjoy sexual immorality and sexual wicked practices in their own marriage bed, and then smoke a cigarette after, smoke a can to stick out, to smoke a joint after, and, and, and to try to relax. People can do whatever they want. They can, they can they can they can, they can drink liquor. They they could drink liquor and uh, pop, pop, pop pills for to enhance the source we use. You can, you can do whatever. Everybody got the free will to do whatever you, whatever you like. You can have sex from the back. You, you could do all sex, but just, just understand this though. If God catch you in Sodom, cause that's Sodom. God looking at it as Sodom. You understand that? God looking at that inside of me to the to the back end of faith. Are you are you hearing what I'm saying? God looking at it as that. How you looking at it? It don't matter if you married or not. If you get caught in the act of this, when the rapture happened, I seen 90% of Americans, they was left behind because they ain't want to give it up. Just understand, you're gonna be left behind. If you don't turn from it, because the way God looking at it and how you looking at it. Understand this. You need to understand it clearly. What it say? First Corinthians six, verse nine. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. They get up and shut it up. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers. Why you born is adultery? It's adultery. Nor unmolecturers, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, 
nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Just understand this, beloved. You, you got the free will to do whatever you like. Everybody do. They can do it. But don't be crying when you get left behind for having sex from behind. Because the way God looking at it, it ain't how you looking at it. God's thoughts are not like our thoughts. You, you putting words in the Lord's mouth. Ask God. Do you get convicted of sin when you hear it? When you hear, when you hear God have me say this? Do you get convicted in your soul? Do you get convicted? That's a good thing. I mean, you got a conscience about it. Isaiah 55 verse 8 For my thoughts are not your thoughts Nor are your ways my ways Says the Lord For as the heavens are higher than the earth They get up a shit and get up a soul So are my ways higher than your ways Hallelujah With a say And my thoughts than your thoughts People trying to put words in the lower mouth. Do you get convicted when you hear somebody say it? Do you get convicted of sin? Like you, it's two things. God specifically had me name, and it's them, them two positions. God wants his people holy. A lot of people gonna be left behind. They they like I just want to get I want to get raptured out of. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want even want to have to think about paying these bills, uh, fighting with ex-husband, wife, baby mama, baby baby daddy. Ain't nothing but glory. They get up my shit and out my soul. God speaking. You hear what I said? People can do whatever they want. You got the free will to do whatever you want. But don't say you wasn't warned because a lot of people going to be left behind. They like it. You got married. Some people got married because of lust. You hear what I said? They ain't even love. When, when God puts something together, God, God could grab you, God could grip you tight and grab you with bands of love and say, should I go with it say? I feel a supercharged, hallelujah. We gonna, we gonna get to some more stuff. You hear what I said? We, hallelujah. They don't wanna give it up, Lord. We don't want nothing blowing away. So we gotta be extra. We gotta be extra smooth with this. <laughs> we gotta be extra, extra cautious. What it say? Hosea 11. God's continuing love for Israel. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. Out of darkness. Out of spiritual darkness, God calling his people. Out of spiritual darkness. They, it ain't nothing but glory. They get up, I shut it up, I so hallelujah. It ain't nothing but glory here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God speaking, beloved. God love you. That's why it is continuing love. Even in your adulteries, even in your transgressions. I ain't no better than nobody else. God had to heal me, beloved. And I just ask God every day to keep me. Because so much so much depends on what I'm doing, beloved. What it say? I'm going to go back to that. Yeah, yeah, we're going we gonna to release a little bit of information, too. To say in, in Romans 12 verse 17 we pay no one evil for evil have regard for good things in the sight of all men if it is possible as much as depends on you live live peaceably with all men be loved 
Do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the law. Much depends on what we're doing. Beloved, we got to be examples to the flock. God don't want us doing certain things, beloved. I was one, I was the same way. I was the same way. I was living in adultery and wickedness. I told you, I went out to the 64 box Crayola. Different nationalities, different shades, different shades, different shades, different nationalities. You hear what I said? I couldn't help myself. It was like it was, it was like trying to catch Pokemon balls. You hear what I said? Can you can you catch them all? They they was all my girlfriends. I'm fornicating with them all, watching porn. It was wicked. You hear what I said? I I could talk about it freely, cause I don't do it no more. You know? I could talk about it. You know? Without being the same. You know, now, now without being the same, but it was wicked. God, God had to heal me, beloved. God got to heal you. People can do whatever they want. They got the free will. I know people don't want to see destruction. We going to see it because those who sleep in the dust shall awake. What dust is that? Rubble dust? What dust? What dust? We going to see, we going to see God get a cracking for sin. You hear what I say? We not just getting raptured out of here. God got to refine people in the holiness. So God going to God going to bring destruction in order to shake people away because people can't, don't want to give up their sins. Or they struggle in their sin and it's hard for them to even come up out of this stuff. They need God help. God bless you, man. They need God help. We all need God help. I'm not saying it in an uncompassionate way. I'm saying it in truth and righteousness, beloved. That's what it's about. You're seeking your own righteousness. A lot of people losing their zeal for God, especially on the tuber. They losing their zeal for God because they doing it for for money. So so they ain't got no zeal for it. They just doing it just to just to do it. And they losing their zeal for God. We need we need more zealousness with God. Excuse me, one second. Excuse me. Felt like something was. Felt like something was. I feel like something was scratching me in here. You gotta pull, you gotta pull, you gotta pull that dentist to minister thing down. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta pull, you gotta, you gotta pull, you gotta pull your dentist to minister there. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah. A lot of people like we not appointed to rev. We just we not getting raptured out of here to God's sake. And the only way for billions of people. For at least a billion people to get raptured, it ain't just for America. We gotta keep saying this: the Great Tribulation ain't just for America. You in the Great Tribulation? You in the beginning stages? You being in, you being in the beginning stages of it? You in the Great Tribulation? It's gonna take for you to see a nuclear explosion, which we about to see. New Vladimir Moon look sick to you? They saying he's sick. Do he look sick to you, Mr. Burns? Now he looks sick. You know. He shake hands with nobody. He, you know, he give it dap, he give it dap, but give it pound, give it, give it fish, give it fish pounds to nobody. They, they ain't nobody there. This nation is in trouble. You hear what I said? They get up our shit. We gonna go through the fire. You gonna be tested. God test the righteous every day. And say, God, God could grip you tight, like it say in that Hosea eleven. Verse 4, I drew them with gentle cords with bands of love. God could grip you with bands of love or you're going to get the ride of his fairy. It, that's it. God bless y'all. God bless you. That's, that's the only thing that's coming, beloved. Ain't nobody just getting raptured up out of here without being tested. What it say? What it say, Daniel? What it say? You're going to be tested, beloved. You're gonna be tested if you your faith about to be tested. You about to be what what Jesus what Jesus tell Peter? Knowing he was gonna be the first. What, what, what Jesus tell Peter? What'd he say? In, in Luke, in Luke 22, verse 31, Jesus predicts Peter's denial. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has, I rebuke Satan and Jesus Christ said, what did he say? 
Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you. Jesus is praying for the church. He prayed for us. He prayed for his people. He prayed, who are my mother? Who is my mother and my brothers? Those who keep the commandments of God to do the will of God. Jesus classified you as brothers and sisters and, and mother and all this stuff. You hear what I say? Who are my mothers and my brothers? Hallelujah. Do you feel the spirit of the law? Hallelujah. Heaven breeze, heaven breeze is blowing on us from old supercharged high. Hallelujah. It gets supercharged up out here. Got flowers for you and everything. You hear what I say? That's how we're gonna roll. You hear what I say? Even, 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 even. G in Jesus' knowledge, his divine insight and his knowledge, he, he, the devil couldn't just do what he wanted to. He had to ask permission from Jesus. He had to ask permission from Jesus. The devil had to ask permission. It said the devil asked to say, he, he had to ask. He can't just do what he want. There is real modern prophets of old on the earth. They own the earth. Foretold witnesses and everything. The 144,000 is here. They on the earth. Team Lion of Judah. You hear what I say? They get up. I said it. They on the earth. And all the Israel ain't of Israel is saved. What is saved? What's that? Wrong? What's that? They get up. Do you feel the spirit of the law? Now, now, now the conversation. Now the conversation getting super chalk. And I gotta open up some of the books. You hear what I said? Excuse me. Excuse me. What does it say? Romans 9, verse 6. Israel rejects in God's purpose. But it is not the word of God. But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect. For they are not all Israel who are of Israel. All of Israel ain't of the land of Israel. That's what that mean. All of Israel ain't, is not of Israel, of the land Israel. We scattered everywhere. The 144,000 years on the earth. And there ain't no females or none of that. They ain't. They ain't defied with women. These are virgins. These are men. They born again. Some of them is born again. But they own the earth. They own the earth. You hear what I said? Foretold Elijah is on the earth. The Elijah of old. You hear what I said? God gonna, God, God gonna testify to something real soon in with a magnitude nine. When you see this first one, I already told you what that means. You hear what I said? This thing broader and deeper. It, 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 broader and deeper. What it say? I'm feeling supercharged. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What did it say? And Job 11. Then Job urges, Zophar urges Job to repeat. Then Zophar the Namathite answered and said, Should not the multitude of words be answered? And should a man full of talk be vindicated? Like, like they be like, he false, he false. He, he a false. You calling God a liar. That's what you're doing publicly. You understand that? You better know who serve God and who don't. Because what people doing, I mean, what, what is your what is your organ prove? And what it say, Joe? I mean, it sound like we all over the place. But I'm starting to feel supercharged right now. You hear what I say? I'm starting to feel supercharged. What it say? What it say? Joe, 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 Joe 24, verse 25. Now, if it is not so, who will prove me a liar and make my speech worth nothing? What it say? Hallelujah. Hey, who gonna prove who gonna prove me a liar? Who gonna prove me a liar? Cause go with me on Super Charles High. Who gonna prove me a lie? What it say? And they over there talking right now. So, you know, the haters of the Lord, they still be watching. You hear what I said? The haters of the Lord, they still be watching. You hear what I said? Because they know God. They call the God a lie, though. Because yeah, God's the one that sent me. Yeah, you call the God a lie. You understand what you're doing? You, they like, he, he lying. The, 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 the church is going to be out of here. The church. 
We about to find out so you ain't shocked in the hall when you see the cataclysms hit the earth. When you begin man's heart's failing for fear, pray to be counted worthy so you can escape all these things that are coming on the earth. Why are you on the earth? God is telling you to pray to be counted worthy to escape what is happening on the earth at the time you are praying for deliverance, for the great rescue. It's called the great rescue for a reason. We gonna be tested. So more people can get grouchy ready. More candidates can be grouchy ready. People are selfish in their thinking. We got to be prayed up. We living in the final seconds, beloved. Hey, God, God bless you. Y'all have a good day. What it say? This this so you can tell me your prudence and your counsel about what's actually what's what's the truth and what ain't the truth. So you ain't shocked in the hall when these judgments hit. You you gotta go to you gotta go to you gotta you gotta understand the depth and the height of what God is speaking about. What it say in Job Job eleven verse three? Should your empty talk make men hold their peace? And when you mock, should no one rebuke you? When you mock and be like, he, he lying, he a false this and false. I'm not a false anything you thinking of. You hear what I say? I'm not a false nothing. And what you doing is calling God a liar. Do you understand that? That's what you doing. Even though you see signs and wonders every time. And even though you see this, you see angels flying, you see God light me up with God all every time. And you still calling God a liar. In deny, and but you still watch. Somebody was like, "Yo, your videos make me dizzy." But you still, your videos make me dizzy. Saying in the mocking way, but you still watching. You hear what I say? Your videos make me dizzy, but you're watching. That's all that matters to me. Long as the seed get planted and God do the work in your heart. But it's many mocking, it's many scoffing. You only got to be wrong one time and it's game over. If I'm not telling the truth, God going to deal with me. But I come in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies. A general in that the Lord of Heaven's armies. You hear what I said? Here to destroy the devil. What you doing for the kingdom of heaven? Why are you always complaining about God's servants? What you doing? Make a video. If God with you, make a video. Do what you going to do. If God called you to do it, why you always complain? You sit there and complain over what God people doing because you really want to do it. <laughs> you hear what I said? Because you really want to do it. You really want to get, you really want to pop your collar. You hear what I said? you like, I want to pop my collar. Pop your collar then. <laughs> you hear what I said? Pop your collar then. Quit, quit. Either you with God or you're not. You hear what I said? There's people I'm dreaming about. They complaining and mocking and all this stuff. And the reason why they do it, they be like, your videos make me dizzy. That mean you are, what you, what you just said? Did you hear what you said? That let me know you watching. What it say? It's Job 11, verse, verse 4. 
For you have said my doctrine is pure and I'm clean in your eyes. But oh, that God will speak and open his lips against you. That he will show you the secrets of wisdom. For they will double your prudence, which is your caution to be careful what you're speaking of when it comes to what, what God got his people doing. I ain't the only one people speaking of and they mocking and you talking about things you ain't got no business talking about. You talking about things you don't understand, beloved. It's because you really want to do it. You hear what I said? Don't be a hater of the law. You hear what I said? Get on ball. You hear what I said? Don't. You hear what I said? Because it ain't going to stop what I'm doing for the law at all under no capacity. You hear what I said? I'm serving God to the end. You hear what I said? I'm going to see my wife and child again. You hear what I said? That's faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for that are not seen. I ain't seen them. But it's the substance of things hoped for that are not seen. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You hear what I said? You really want to you really wanted make a video. You hear what I said? Say, God, give me, give me, get, enlighten me with understanding so I can make a video for the law. So I, so I can help get people on board and all can know. You hear what I said? Because the days is over. You hear what I said? You know, we unmatched with what we doing. You hear what I said? It's unmatched. I'm going to do this what God called me for. You hear what I said? Be on my pepper and pew. But be a soldier for the law. You hear what I said? <laughs> be a soldier for the law. That's how it's going. Do you feel the spirit of the law? Hallelujah. You know, got to talk that sad sometimes, you know, because people be, they be shucking and jiving, you know. It's because they really want to, they really want to, they really, they really, they really want to do what we're doing for them. Say, God, give me the gig, give, give me the right words to be able to speak, to be able to articulate. All you got to do is has. You ain't got to, you ain't got to complain against God's service because I really serve God. You hear what I said? Publicly, and, publicly and, and privately with God, but, but, but whatever God want me to do. You hear what I said? Everything ain't for the internet. I, I serve God off the internet every day. You hear what I said? I want to be a light in my community. You hear what I said? Because we're filled with a lot of darkness. You hear what I said? A lot of my homies is gone. You hear what I said? In the penitentiary, death row, some on death row right now. You hear what I said? For, for, for heinous crimes. You know? For heinous crimes. You know? Some of these people were serial killers, you know? Not like Ted Bunny, but just, you know, black body swinging in the trees, strange fruit. You hear what I said? That strange fruit now is black on black violence. I'm feeling the spirit of the law. <laughs> you hear what I said? Man, I just speak from the heart. Say, God, let me speak from the heart. I know you don't put all your time and effort in other things in college and whatever. You hear what I said? You're a practitioner or whatever. You hear what I said? Uh, the mortician, you know what I mean? The dry bones live, you hear what I said? Whatever you is, you hear what I said? You don't put all your, your, uh, your, you don't put all your time and energy in that. This is what I've been doing for almost eight years, beloved. I just put all everything, you know? Yeah, I, I, would, I, would, I, I ain't even have sex with my own wife. The 144,000 is on earth. They not to fire with women. You hear what I said? Team line of truth. I'm here to help God people maneuver through this end time, through this end time scenes. Let them know so they ain't, so they ain't, uh, what it say? Yeah, I'm going to go through the book too because we ain't going to be here long, you know? You hear what I say? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to help you. We gonna hit the rapture is real. The rapture is the rapture is real. I'm here to let you know how it feels. You hear what I say? The rapture is real. You hear what I say? It's a real it's a reward though for obedience to the faith. And it's called the great rescue because the whole the whole world gotta be going through something at the same time. I seen helicopters coming when they was, they wasn't from this land. They was jumping out in black uniforms. You hear what I said? They was jumping out. I said, it's like the Red Dawn movie for a reason. You hear what I said? They was jumping, they was jumping out. Jumping out at this park where I'm at right now. You hear what I said? It was black helicopters everywhere. They, 
None of the satellites, none of, none of, the, uh, none of the, the GPS was working in America. It was just, it was chaos. You hear what I said? It ain't nothing but glory. God is speaking, beloved. I feel the spirit. I love you, beloved. I'm not saying I'm not saying this to mock people like Elijah, like Elijah was mocking the, uh, the prophets of Baal. Even though I be doing that sometimes, you hear what I say? I be mocking. I be mocking people because uh, you know I be mocking them when it come to when it come to serving God. But people lying on the Lord. They lying on the Lord. They 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 saying God ain't really see me, and, and, and I gotta defend that. I would what what it say? I'm trying to I'm trying to help you out. So like it say right here. Jeremiah 2, verse 12. Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, says the Lord. I don't want you shocked, astonished, or horribly afraid. Because people are going to be horribly afraid when they see what God do. You hear what I said? What God, what God going to do? You're going to be tested, beloved. The refinement moment. What did it say? I know it be sound like we all over the place. You know, we don't premeditate now. I just let God take over. You be feeling the spirit. The da -da 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 I shut it up. I so you feel the spirit of the Lord. Yes, I throw the spirit through it. Deal. We're going to be refined and tested. You hear what I said? What did it say? Uh, Daniel 12, verse 7. Then I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river when he held up his, when he held up his right hand. Hallelujah. And his left hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for a time, times, and a half a time. Whoever said it was three and a half years? Whoever said people just put times and, 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 and they just put, put these words in God's mouth. God ain't say it's a year. It don't mean it don't mean what, what, what we trying to understand. Are you leaning on your own understanding? You can't be loving. We none of us can be loving. We all make that mistake all the time, beloved. We can't lean on our own understanding. God said in Proverbs 3, lean, trust in the Lord with all your heart and all your ways and lean not on your own understanding, beloved. Say, God, help me not to lean on my own understanding. You hear what I said? Magnitude ratio off the planet. Help us not to think in our own understanding. You hear what I'm feeling? Supercharged. you like, man, spectacular vernacular. You hear what I said? That's how I go up over here. <laughs> Hallelujah. What it say? times in half a time when the power of the holy people make sure this Bible don't blow away because I don't want to be chasing no papers. You hear what I said? Something be chasing that paper. I ain't finna be chasing no papers. You hear what I said? You hear what it say? In half a time and when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered. What does that mean? We gonna go through the fire. All these things shall be finished when the holy people's power is completely shattered. You being wore down by the enemy, yes, beloved, but you got to keep asking God to renew your strength. You got to fast to pray. You got to get in the spirit. You got to fast for food and pray, beloved. What it say? Uh, Daniel 12, verse 8. Although I heard, I did not understand. Although you hearing these things, and sometimes we can't comprehend. We can't comprehend. Uh, what it say? Man. <laughs> oh, man. What it say? In Romans 8. Romans 8, verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor, nor height, nor depth. K2 climbing, arena trish diving, K2 climbing, day blue diamonds. Hallelujah. Do you feel the spirit of the Lord? <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. <laughs> you feel the spirit of the Lord? Yes, Santo, the spirit of Dios. Hallelujah. What did it say? Nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, 
which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. We got to be able to, what it say? Although I, in Daniel 12, verse 8, although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. It say many, we rebuke Satan in Jesus Christ's name. What it say? It say many shall be purified, made white, and refined. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined. Church of Jesus Christ. So you ain't shot in the horn when you get to see God get the rocket places. So you ain't shot. Many go, many about to go through the test, beloved. You about to be refined. God can't rapture the church in, in, in without holiness. Nobody going to see the Lord. I said, Lord, how are you going to make people holy? God said, I'm going to bring judgment. God going to shake the earth. He going to shake the earth. He going to shake. Many, many going to be purified. What is saying, Daniel? What else is saying, Daniel, beloved? It, it says, Daniel. Daniel 11, verse 32. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong. You strong, beloved. And carry out great exploits. And those are the people who understand. Shall instruct many. Yet for many days. They shall fall by sword. And flame. By captivity. And plundering. Now when they fall. They shall be aided. With a little help. But many shall join. With them by intrigue. Many gonna fall. Many going to rise. Those who sleep in the dust shall awake when they see the destruction of parole. When they see the destruction of uh, Jalisco, Mexico, Wacadada, Mexico, the IOX part of Mexico. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. You hear what I said? When California is here. When, when, when you see Poland get hit, when you see, you're going to see something that's going to wake people up. They ain't listening. None of the wicked will understand. We was wicked, beloved, and God had mercy on us. So people that are wicked right now, we got wicked family members, friends, whatever. God going to have mercy on many. Beloved, he's going to snap people awake during the, uh, the dilapidation of, of, of cities. God gave the angels a command. I posted the other day on the funny book page. God gave the angels a command, beloved, to burn the cities with fire. God, God gave the angels a command, beloved. You see that? Uh, 43022. The Lord commanded to burn the cities with fire. All of them. All of them. China, China earthquake, eight. That's a magnitude eight. 
God getting ready to shake places. May, may attack. You hear what I said? The attack is coming, beloved. May attack. Look. May they. You hear what I said? The get about shit and about soup. May attack. You hear what I said? May attack. Let him remove name sick. He ain't sick. You hear what I said? You are dealing with illusionists. Hey, use these bananas. Ask a photo. You hear what I said? Don't let them put the... There's a banana in the tailpipe tree. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull this rabbit out of this hat. <laughs> what he say? What Bullwinkle say? You hear what I said? Like when I seen the moose. You hear what I said? The yak, the yak moose. <laughs> you hear what I said? The Siberian yak, the Siberian yak moose. In Yosemite, you hear what I said? A yak. It almost sound like a, it almost sound like a, yeah. A regular traffic. <laughs> the bear, the baritone, the baritone sound. <laughs> Hallelujah. You feel the spirit of the Lord? Go, go, go off and judge all these rulers. Rav on the loot. Rav on the ruler. You hear what I said? Why do the wicked rulers plot the very thing? And, and Saul too? Why the, why the leaders of the world plot the very thing? Claw, claw, swive, and you know, these people are, they all the Antichrist. All of them. They all the Antichrist. They gave their power to the priests. All of them. Ain't that what it's saying in Revelation 17? They don't got no kingdom as of yet. They all, they all the Antichrist. It's the spirit. The Antichrist spirit. They all the Antichrist. All of them. What is that? What is that? God bless y'all. God bless you. All right. God bless y'all. Yeah, I praise Jesus. I hope y'all praise Jesus too, young brothers. God bless you too, baby boy. 429.22. It is time for all words. Vladimir Putin ain't sick. You hear what I say? It's called the art of war. You hear what I said? Make you think, make he, make, make you think he appearing with. He already told you he gonna attack everywhere. I, I being showed you that he gonna drop an unregulated, and now you starting to hear about it. I been, I got, I'ma say, I'm, a, I'm a just start repeating stuff, cause we get, we got to. You hear what I said? Cause people listen to what they want to hear. You hear what I said? But you about to be tested. We gonna be, we gonna, we gonna be tested, beloved. I'm going through some more of the book right now in a second. But since another scripture popped in my mind, you know what I said? In my soul, diamonds are blind as the diamonds of gold on the narrow road. Holiness on the narrow road. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Protect my little neighbors. Lord, protect all of them. What did it say? In Zechariah 13, idolatry cut off. I'm going to skip to verse 7. The shepherd savior, awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who is my companion. Hallelujah. God, my main man, my, my companion. You, you dig what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Over Edom, God going to cast a shoe and say. What did it say? In Psalm 108. Over Edom, God gonna cast a shoe. You hear what I say? You know God wears shoes? In Psalm 108, what it say? Over Edom, I'm gonna cast my shoe. <laughs> you hear what I say? God put on the God put on the Stacey Adams. You hear what I say? God put on the Stacey Adams to crush the devil's head. Over Edom, I will cast my shoe. You hear what I say? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Against the man who is my companion, said the Lord of hosts, strike the shepherd. And the sheep will be scattered. Then I will turn my hand against the little ones. And it shall come to pass in all the land, says the Lord, that two thirds in it shall be cut off and die. But one third shall be left in it. I will bring the one third through the fire. We'll refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name. And I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. And each one will say, 
The Lord is my God. You hear what that said? We gonna be tested. Your faith is about to be tested. We will not see sorrow, pain, or, or famine. We seen all of it now. We seen it now, beloved. It's not the food, the water cut off before your eyes and say, in Joel 1 verse 13 on down, the storehouses is in shambles. The bars are broken down. We in the end. You gonna be tested. You ain't just getting raptured up out of here because more people gotta be raptured ready. In order for God to do it, he got to bring some soul cataclysmic. It's going to snap people into repentance. Then go thrust in the sick and lift them up. You hear what I said? That sin going to come. Whatever's in the person, God, whatever can be shaken, going to be shaken. Whatever's inside of a person going to be shook up out of them. God got to shake it out of them. I don't know how to draw. That's what I see too. I see him one way. Tsunami yo. This was in this was in uh, Central or South America. I seen one wave and then I seen another wave pile up on this first wave and made it huge. You hear what I said? Why are they talking about tsunami, a tsunami moving the bomb all of a sudden? Cause they know they know something about to happen with the ocean. The ring of fire about to go. The ring of fire about to go. And, and I told you the asteroids is coming, but it's a May attack coming too. You hear what I said? They not playing no games. They gonna use a hundred megaton. They only gotta use one of them. It's gonna bring people into submission. <laughs> you hear what I said? You see a hundred megaton nuclear bomb and the vapor the vaporization of a human body, atomic shadows. 24 hours out the air demon. Evil demon. You hear what I say? In the world, the magnitude sevens, eights, and nines finna shake this world. This is gonna be the month of straight. All our lives is about to change. You hear what I say? All of us, all that mocking that people doing, it's gonna be game over. <laughs> all that mocking that people lying saying God didn't send me because I, I am. Just, that's why God. That's why God. God. God decided. I really serve God though. 100% every day. You hear what I said? Every day. The only way people going to wake up and come up out of sin, out of smoking and ill popping and drinking alcohol. I know people want to get off this stuff. I, I was a slave to it too, beloved. I'm not saying that God going to have mercy. You keep confessing and say, God help me. Please. I'm waiting on God to do a healing. Several healings and miracles and everything, beloved. I'm waiting. That's faith. You must guard the faith jealous. That is faith. Your faith is going to be tested. You're not just getting raptured up out of here. God got to get more candidates ready. When I first seen the rapture in 2015, none of us would have went. Only 2 million people worldwide was going to go in the rapture then. Only 2 million people in 2015. That was it. This is worldwide. The rapture ain't just for America. The great tribulation ain't just for America. It's for the whole world. The rapture is for the whole world. God got servants everywhere. Peru, Brazil, China, Russia, California, America, everywhere. Europe, Africa. Elijah knew when he was about to get raptured. And it's the same today. It's the same today. Nothing changed. Because if God sent his messenger back, Elijah, then Elijah know when he was about to get raptured. I'm telling you, Church of Jesus Christ, live holy for the Lord. Elijah knew. You, you read what it says, 2 Kings 2. Elijah knew. He was like, what should I do for you, Elijah? Eli Elijah. What shall I do for you? I'm on a double portion of your spirit. God got a double portion of Elijah's spirit and the mantle and the garments. The garments of Elijah. Oh, 
Oh, man. It's chariots of fire coming. You hear what I said? They already here. You hear what I said? It's chariots of fire. Elijah knew when the rapture was about to happen. He the only person. He the only person ever to know when God was going to take him. Enoch didn't know. God just took him so he didn't see death. But Elijah, you go back and read it. Read it with the spiritual understanding. The depth and the height. Say, God, give me the understanding of the depth. The depth and the height. You hear what I said? Say, go, give me the understanding of the depth and the height. Hallelujah. They get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. For it is eight. And Job 11 verse 7. Can you search out the deep things of God? Can you find out the limits of the almighty? No. They are higher than in heaven. What can you do? Deeper than shield? What can you know? Their measure is longer than the earth. And brighter than the sea. We go brighter than the sea. With the depth and the height under the sea. In the spring, we go deep into the into the springs of the earth, and we go to the tops of the mountain peaks together. You hear what I said? <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Make sure they make sure they a, a little bit of dri a, a little bit of double dribble on your mustache too big. <laughs> Hallelujah! Your mustache and your beard too big. You hear what I said? Hallelujah! They get out of my shit and it up my suit. Hallelujah. What it say, Joe? What else to say, Joe? Joe 13. Is it Joe 13? I'm looking. Yeah, yeah, Joel 13, verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Even so, I will defend my own ways before him. I will defend my own ways before the Lord. Because God watches everything I'm doing. This ain't my message. It's the message that the Lord through me. God bless you, God bless you. Nothing but distractions. The kings assembled together. Like it say. In Psalm 48, it say the kings assembled together. And this actually go with a uh, revelation. Revelation 17. Psalm 48. Where it says the kings assembled together. It go with Revelation 17. Vladimir Putin ain't sick. We're gonna be doing a live stream soon. The world about to experience a couple events. This is the moment of great change. This is what God said. It's finna be straight panic. That's why God wants you ready now. It's finna be panic. Church of Jesus Christ, you need to prepare your heart to see some things. You're gonna see some things. We're not just getting raptured. The rapture is called the great rescue. It only happen when we spotless and blameless without 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 doubt in our heart and unbelief. That that's all seeing in God's eyes, unbelief and doubt. So so we God God gonna refine us to make us really believe by seeing destruction, great devastation. We gotta see something, beloved. 
We got to see something in order in order to wake people up. We need. Don't you want family members awakened so they can make heaven, beloved? Don't you want that? I do. Family, friends, lost relatives, lost the loss of general, beloved. We need people saved, beloved. We can't be selfish in our thinking. We all want to get out of here. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go every day. But we're going to see some things. I need you to understand. I need you to understand this, beloved. We already been seeing some things. This world been, this world, it been real tricky. You hear what I said? Great, great nine, great nine, and great city of wickedness. Great nine is a magnitude nine. Great nine and great city of wickedness. Whatever city you see, get hit with a magnitude nine earthquake inside of it. L.A. City, a city in there. El Salvador, Guatemala, that region, Honduras. This place is marked out for great. Vast devastation. I'm talking about they gonna be standing on top of the on top of the buildings. Saying the building collapsed in Spanish. I test the righteous every day. What it say in Jeremiah 17? The Lord tests the, the righteous. They harden their mind. What it say in Psalm 11? It said the Lord, the, the Lord tests the righteous. The Lord, but the one who loves violence, God's soul hates. We're going to be tested, beloved. But you're going you're gonna to pass the test like it say in Job 23. When I'm tested, I shall come out as gold. What Jesus say in Revelation, buy gold for me, refined in the fire. You are that gold. You are the gold Jesus bought at a price by the shedding of his blood on the cross. Jesus' blood was shed for your sins, beloved. He's all coming. They all coming. I told you I seen the UK. I was standing in the UK and a huge, huge nuclear explosion. I was standing under it. I said, it's a 50 megaton bomb. I said a 50 megaton. But then I seen, see these? See that? God gonna bring the last disaster, no delay. Black, black earth, black earth, darkness falls. God is gonna darken the sand. Everything, expect anything, every, live your life in a state of repentance. That's how I'm living right now. What it say? Before we get up, before we tear up out of this thing, we're going to be sharing more soon. Before we, you know, if you get convicted of sin, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, you got a conscience, beloved. What it say? If you get, what it say in Romans 2, verse 15, who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness and between themselves, their thoughts accusing or else excusing them. In the day when God will judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel, your own thoughts be accusing you of sin or excusing you from it. That's why you get convicted, your own thoughts. And that's a beautiful thing. That means you got a conscience, you know? and you need to repent. We all need to repent. Live a life of repentance. Remember, I was showing this. Look at that. The Moab, the mother of all bombs, 100 megaton. This, this landed on 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 all nation, beloved. They only got to use one of these on this nation. This gonna throw the world into in the shock and perplexity, beloved, and panic. That's why God wants you prepared with it. ain't nothing but glory. They get up and shed it out of our soul. It ain't nothing but glory. Hallelujah. Anointed on supercharged high. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing but glory. 
Terry and Shock and Rockets. We about to see boats get sunk and everything, but we about to see several massive earthquakes, a couple tsunamis. It's coming this month. This may attack. Expect anything in any, at any time right now. Just live for God, beloved. That's it. Say, call. I submit everything to you. You got to. It's the only way, beloved. We done did the will of the Gentiles long enough. It's over, beloved. It's time to serve God fully, beloved. We're going to be tested. You know, we are gonna be tested, you know? And this may be the last message, and it may not. But but I'm here, beloved, to just help. I'm, I'm here to help God, people. Help, you help, me helping you helps me, beloved. Me, me doing the work of the Lord, it helps me to stay strong and motivated. We need, we need to inspire, you inspire me, beloved, you know? We got to inspire each other, you know? We got to, because time is running out, you know? It, it, ain't, it ain't finna cool down. You know, summer, summer is near. <laughs> you hear what I say? And time is running out. And what it say? In Ezekiel, I, this how I'm going to stay. I ain't no lukewarm. I'm here to warn you. I'm going to stay. We going we gonna to stay like it say in Ezekiel 20 verse 45. A fire in the forest. Blaze of flame. Supercharged, cause things God finna set this world ablaze, and things is heating up. 